Hi boys and girls, I have another read aloud for you today. This one is, How Much Is That Doggy in the Window? The music and the words are by Bob Merrill, and the story has been retold and illustrated by Isa Trapani. All right, here we go. Have you ever gone to a pet store where they have dogs and sometimes kittens, maybe hamsters for sale? That's what this book is about. How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the waggly tail. How much is that doggy in the window? I do hope that doggy's for sale. That doggy's on sale for $60. I'd even take $5 off. But you only have $11.50. I'm sorry, but that's not enough. Perhaps you would rather buy a hamster, a gerbil, maybe some mice. These lizards and snakes are simply splendid. I'll take 50 cents off the price. See the store owner? He's thinking maybe he'd like to buy something else. Would you like a lizard or a snake for a pet? Oh no, mister, no. I want that doggy. Just look how he's wagging at me. I'll go find a way to make some money and I'll buy him. Just you wait and see. I thought I'd sell lemonade on Monday. Now that's a good plan, don't you think? But it rained all day and most of Tuesday and no one came out for a drink. He's sitting in the rain trying to sell lemonade. And on Wednesday and Thursday, I felt lousy. I had a bad cold in my head. The weather was great, but I was achy and had to spend two days in bed. On Friday, my little baby sister fell down and she banged up her knee. I went out and bought her frozen yogurt and she was as pleased as could be. It was a very kind thing for him to do, wasn't it? On Saturday, Mom was in the garden. A bee stung her toe right on the toe. I went out and bought her chocolate candy. It made her feel better, you know. On Sunday, my dad got allergic. He sneezed and his eyes itched real bad. I went out and bought a box of tissues and spent almost all that I had. So that's why I didn't earn a penny. I guess that I'm plain out of luck. Last Monday, Monday I had 11.50 and now I have less than a buck. A buck is another way of saying a dollar. Oh, look, he's gone back to the pet store. Where is that doggy in the window? Oh, where did that cute doggy go? I know that I can't afford to buy him. I just thought I'd come and say hello. Some people stopped by and bought that doggy for their very special young son. They bought him the dog so they could thank him for all the nice things that he had done. Aww. How do you think he's feeling? You think he's sad that the puppy's gone? Look at this. He goes back home and what does he see? Can that be the doggy from the window? I wonder, can that really be? Oh, what a surprise. I never figured that lucky young boy would be me. The end.